Hi there, I'm John, and today we'll see how to configure a load balancer using Nginx. So here I have VirtualBox installed, and we're gonna start a new Debian Linux image. Uh, we'll set network to bridged and use this network interface I'm using for Wi-Fi and the storage I'll load the user file I downloaded already now we'll start the instance I'm now in Czech Republic And we wait a little bit. I just use my name as account and password just for our, te our tests. So I'll choose the mirror in Czech Republic, no proxy. So we don't need a desktop environment. We don't need a print server. Maybe we'll need somebody to SSH server so I'll check it. So let's install the bootloader, which is grub, to the virtual box hard drive we created. Okay, so installation now is complete, we can reboot. I'm gonna log in as root. Update the package description definitions and install Vim and Nginx. So now we start Nginx. And let's check something. It's our IP address here, 27. So if I put 192, one six eight one dot twenty seven it shows the result of nginx installed in the machine perfect it's configured mm. now we enable for boot time and we can shut down the machine we can clone it to have another instance uh, let's clone it once more third instance And now let's clone for the load balancer. Ok, 
Okay, so let's start the load balancer. And let's start the other instances as well. Here I go inside Nginx, sites available, and I open the full. And here I can set the config for the load balancer, which will be upstream. We will use the Nginx module called upstream and call it backend let's log in on the other instances Here I'm checking in each of them what's the IP address they got so I can configure them in the load balancer. Here I'll say server and put IP address of the first one which is 192.168.131. Server 192.168.131. 29 server 92.168.130 okay and we can also tell it that it will check for number of failures before before realizing the instance is down it's not operating so max fails you can set for example to 3 and the fail timeout we can set to 15 seconds we can do that to all of them and here where you configure the location, I'm gonna comment this out and say proxy pass to HTTP backend, which is what we configured up there. Now I can restart Nginx here, this instance on var log Nginx, and I'm gonna put here this one in the same directory. So, yeah, now it's empty, and I will watch tail of this access log nothing and watch tail access log see there is nothing there watch tail access log here in our load balancer I'll do the same so now we can 
access load balancer we see it sent the access to the first server if we access it again it sent to the second server see one log was created here then it sends to the third server we can run some tests I don't know if Sage is installed here. Let's check. Yeah, it is. So we can check. We can do something like this, for example. Let me just organize this better. Siege C255. One minute to what was the address again? This address so it attacks the server and it transfers the balance, it transfers the accesses to the other instances. It's beautiful. Now you can see the logs are changing in all of them. I'm sending 255 simultaneous accesses during one minute to the load balancer and it it's transferring the load to the others to the other instances. Okay, so this is the statistic about what just happened and here in the load balancer if you check the access log was is, is 5 megabytes 5.6 megabytes it's huge and 1.9 1.9 and 1.9 so everything that went through these machines is saved on the on the load balancer log. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.